guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will look at total characters in string after transformation one problem which is from lead code number triple three five let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given a string s and an integer t representing the number of transformations to perform in one transformation every character in s is replaced according to the following rules if the character is z replace it with a b otherwise replace it to the next character in the alphabet for example a is replaced by b and b will be replaced by c and so on return the length of the resulting string after exactly t number of transformations and since the length can be very large we need to return the answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 now let's look at the first example in this case we have the starting string as a b c y y so in this particular problem your alphabet size you can say is going from a to z that means you have 26 unique letters okay now we need to perform two number of transformation now there is no z in this so this a will become b b becomes c c becomes d y becomes z and y becomes z now in the next transformation you will see that this b will become c this c will become d this d will become e this z will become a b according to uh, how the first condition was given and again this z will also become a b so what is the length 3 4 5 6 7 therefore 7 is the answer right now if you try to simulate by creating the string then you know that if uh, if it is saying that the length can grow beyond 10 to the power 9 plus 7 you will have huge cost even if uh, you say one character will take one byte if you save like that then 10 to the power 9 characters will take one byte times 10 to the power 9 which will be 1 GB so definitely you are going to get a memory limit exceeded if you try to actually generate the final string and then find the size that will not be helpful okay so just by looking at the size like the modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 you should not try to generate the final string okay that should not happen now we need to apply some other operations like we cannot generate the final string now in this case s dot length is 10 to the power 5 and we will make sure that we don't end up writing an n square algorithm because that will become 10 to the power of 10 we should always make sure to write the algorithm with less computations than 10 to the power 8 which is a standard for one second s only consists of lowercase english letters and the maximum number of transformations are 10 to the power of 5 fine now even if you do a transformation by uh, going through the entire string one time one time again and again t number of times okay then the total complexity is going to be 10 to the power 5 times 10 to the power 5 which is 10 to the power 10 so this is not going to run in one second okay so you cannot simulate this entire thing one transaction after another over the entire length of string that should not be done now let's see an observation along with the dry run of how to solve this problem now since our alphabet size is 26 letters it is difficult to show an example so i will be taking a smaller alphabet size where we will just assume unique letters to be a b c d you can extend this and uh, extend it to z right but i have created a similar example with just four alphabet size in this case the transformations given are a will be transformed to b in one transformation b becomes c c becomes d but the last character in this alphabet d becomes a b by cycling back just like how z uh, used to become a b so in this case since d is the last one in the alphabet so d will become a b so it is exactly similar example but this is a smaller one now if you want to apply your logic then we had already understood that we cannot apply t number of transformations by iterating through the entire string that is not going to happen so what we can do is we can check the frequency of each of the item the frequency size array can be taken and this array size will be equals to the alphabet size if you have from a to z it will be 26 size array in this case we will take 4 size array so i'll be taking a 4 size array from 0 to 3 denoting a will be uh, showing 0 and d will be showing uh, showing 3 right and i will be assigning frequency 0 that means i do not know about any of the occurrences and take the original string and increment the frequency so the original input string is a c a b 
on which I want to apply three number of transformations, right? So in this case, if you take A, C, A, B, uh, then the frequency of A is 2, C is 1 and B is 1. And that is why you have 2, 1, 1. This A is 2, B is 1, C is 1 and D has 0 frequency. So this is the initial frequency and since this string name is S, I will be calling this uh, entire frequency array as S frequency. You can also take a hash map to denote this. Now after this, if I have to apply a transformation, then instead of applying it on the entire string S, I will be applying this on the given frequency array because the frequency array will never be beyond 4 size. That means its maximum size will be the alphabet size. In our problem, it will be maximum 26 size. So it does not matter if the string size is 10 to the power 5 or anything. It can be very high number. But the frequency size will always be 26. It will not exceed 26. So if you do t number of iterations over 26 size array, then you will end up doing 2.6 times 10 to the power 6 number of operations, which is well within 10 to the power 8. And so it will pass within one second. And that is why we will be going with the approach of recording the frequency and then incrementing the frequency one transformation after another. So in the first transformation, when you have 2, 1, 1, 0, then what we shall do here? We can just iterate for each of the character, right? So for the first character, you see, it is saying that A is present two times. So what we should do, A should be transformed to B. So if A is transformed to B and A has occurred two times, then you can say that B will also occur two times now. So what we should do, either you overwrite this value to 2 or whatever is the value 1 here, you update this to uh, 1 plus 2 which is 3. In any case, when you go and try the transformation on B, then you will not know what to do because the previous value has been modified. Okay, previous value has been modified. Therefore, it is not a good idea to use the same frequency array to do your transformation. And that is why we will be taking an extra space to do our transformation. So let me show you how to do that. So in this particular case, I will be taking a S frequency, which will be initial frequency 2110. This is in the initial state. And I will be taking a next frequency array where I will be keeping all the zeros. So whenever a transformation T1 has to be applied, like the first transformation, then I will be going iterating from left to right one character after another. And if I see that there are two A's, then this will contribute to become two B's. So increment the frequency of B by two times. And that is why two will be added here. And, and, and this next frequency becomes two. When I go and see this B, this is A, B, C, D, right? When I see this B, there is one B in the current state. Then it be, it contributes to 1C in the next state. When I see a C here, then there is 1C. So it will become 1D in the next state, right? And when I go to D, there are 0 Ds. So it will not contribute anything for either A or B. Because D becomes AB. If there was a D, it will contribute 1A and 1D, right? Depending on how many counts are there. So this next frequency will now get assigned to the next state. That means the next current state. And so you can write here 0, 2, 1, 1. If you look at this transformation from the initial state as 0 to the next state as 1, you will be finding A got transformed to B, C to D, A to B, and B to C. And if you look at the frequency, the A, B, C, D frequency is 0, 2, 1, 1, and that is what we got here, okay? That is what we have got. Now, the next frequency will again be assigned to all zeros. This will always be saving the next state right so we have a b c d markers according to the index and let's try to parse from left to right so if you see an a there is no a present so there will be no contribution for b in the next state if you see b's there are two b's so it will contribute to become two c's by transformation if you see a c there is one c so it will become one d after transformation if you d, uh, see a d there is one d so this will contribute to become one a and one b so 1a will be added here and 1b will be added right so the state i is 1121 1, you see 1121 1, 1, it, it becomes this b becomes c this uh, d becomes ab this b becomes c and this c becomes d right so in the next state the current state will be assigned to uh, to to the next state right 
in the next iteration so you will be having 1 1 2 1 and the next frequency state will be marked as all zeros so how many iterations are we done we are done with our t1 and t2 now we will be performing our third iteration the transformation number three so again you will be iterating you see a b c d this will be a b c d and check out a has one frequency so it will be contributing to become one b b has one frequency so it will contribute to become one c c has two frequency it will contribute to become two d's and d has one frequency so it will be contributing one to a and one to b so b was already one so it will be added to become two right so the final state here is one two one two after three number of transformations you see one two one two so this c became d this a became b this b became c this c became d and this d became a b and that is how you can just iterate over this array now iterate over this array add all the values 1 plus 2 3 plus 1 4 plus 2 6 and therefore the answer in this case will be 6 so i hope you have understood the entire observation why we are going with frequency and why not simulating the construction of the string right because it will give you tle as well as mle and uh, we have also seen the dry run now if you consider the time complexity we are going through each and every transformation one by one alphabet uh, size because we are just going through the frequency map right so fre frequency map size is alphabet size in this case 26 in our problem statement so the maximum value of t is 10 to the power 5 therefore the runtime in this case is 2.6 times of 10 to the power 6 which is way below your 10 to the power 8 so this will pass well within one second okay the space complexity is going to be order of alphabet size and the alphabet size is 26 in our case I hope it is clear. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem i have defined the mod with 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and i am taking modulo multiplier so when you multiply a with b then a into b mod of m can be written as a mod of m into b mod of m whole mod of m right so that is something uh, which i have written here modulo multiplier then we will be given s and t where s is the input string t is the number of transformations we will be defining an array of 26 size and uh, predefined with all the zero values this will be recording the frequency of each character in the given input string and after that i will be doing t number of uh, transformations and in every transformation we will be taking the s frequency okay which will be of the alphabet size 0 to 25 we will be defining the next frequency with all the zero values which will be again running from 0 to 25 and i will be taking uh, each and every character one by one iterate over the uh, state that means the recorded s frequency and see if there is let's say a one for zero that means a has occurred one time so this will be contributing uh, to become one b because a, a will be transformed to b and that is why if j is less than 25 that means for all the values from a to y they will just be incremented by one time a becomes b b becomes c and so on y becomes z but when j is 25 that means it is z then it will be contributing to become both a and b right it will become a b and that is why when a j is 25 then i will be incrementing the frequency of 0 as well as the frequency of 1 okay so after doing this before going on to the next transformation uh, the current state will be assigned to the next frequency that was calculated because the transformation is done and whatever was the transformation frequency calculated that will become the input for the next transformation right so after doing the transformation we just have to iterate over the entire array add the values and calculate the final string size and return this is the entire approach and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you